Hello, welcome to my Minecraft tutorial. This is episode number 25 in my How to Survive and Thrive series. And in today's episode, we're going to continue on with our exploration in search of a, uh, a surface ravine. And I know where one exists, and we're going to get to that a little bit later, because right now, as you can see here, I'm still in the NPC village that we'd found in the prior episode. Got a little sidetracked there, and I've had uh, spent the night here and I've spoken with the locals. I let them all out of their buildings. <laughs> Apparently they cannot open doors. <laughs> they have the AI, the artificial intelligence of a pig. <laughs> oh, yes. He just took that as an insult. Then he's like, oh, hey, what are you talking about? They're more like Squidward. These guys remind me of Squidward from SpongeBob. Hey, SpongeBob. SpongeBob. Come here, SpongeBob. That's my Squidward impression. Uh, they're a little shady, a little dodgy. Um, so I think what I want to do is, as you can see here, I have, I have, uh, assimilated this home. It was, well, actually I paid the price. I gave him a little cash. Get out. <laughs> Excuse me. This is private. And, uh, it was really cheap because there's no door. So I don't have a whole lot of privacy in here. Now I put down my workbench and all my, uh, my furnace and so forth. I made a, a chest, stored a whole bunch of gear in there. And I also cooked up all, all of the iron that we had dug it the mind up in the uh, last episode to get prepared for this one so here's what we're going to do we're going to secure oh. spongebob <laughs> out of here boy and uh what we're going to do is secure this home despite the fact that they are about as smart as pigs um i thought this would be a good opportunity to teach you how to use uh, switches and pressure plates all right without further ado let's get started while the sun is uh, still shining uh, by the way, the um, the different colored NPCs are various professions. This is the farmer. White robe is uh, the librarian. White apron is the butcher. Um, and there's a couple other ones. Just check the wiki for that if you're really interested. Of course, they don't do anything yet anyway. Um, okay, let's, let's do this. The first thing we're going to need to do, and I have uh, some stone here. We're going to make, going to make a pressure plate and a button. Now, in order to do that, we need we need some smooth stone. So we're going to put some stone in here. And I, I did this in an earlier episode. And I'm going to have to use up all my coal here, which is kind of a shame. But um, my last bit. So basically, we want to cook cobble. And cobble turns into regular stone, smooth stone. And we're going to take our smooth stone. And I need one more piece before I can make anything. Um, while that's cooking, let's go over here and make an iron door. So now that I have all this iron, let's make a door made of iron. And we're going to talk about this here. And we're going to place that. Actually, I can't place it until I get the button ready. So let's get some more smooth stone. That's enough for a button. Now we're going to take our smooth stone. We're going to go to the crafting bench and put uh, one on top of the other. And that makes a button, a smooth stone button. Grab some more stone here. And we're going to make with three, actually we only need two for this, two stone side by side makes a pressure plate. And I'm going to do the same thing with a wooden pressure plate. So we're going to have a wooden pressure plate, stone pressure plate, and a button. And I think that's everything we need to continue on. So now let's take our iron door. We're going to place this from the outside, just like you would with a wooden door. Now the, the main difference here is that this is heavy and it needs power. I can't open it with a left click or right click, as you can see unlike a wooden door. So what we need to do is provide a means to open this door. And that uh, is a, one of the means is a button. And we put a button next to it like that. And it has to be adjacent to the door somewhere. And a left click on the button or a right click will open the door momentarily. It only stays open for a couple of quick seconds. So you wanna get up close, click on it. Now the button's on the other side and I can't get out until I put either another button on this side or some other means to get out so let's use the pressure plate on the inside now these um these clowns walking around outside uh squidwards they can't get in here because they don't know how to press buttons they are basically like a pig um <laughs> uh walking not talking either they're so they're so creepy i don't understand them all right now let's put our pressure plate on the floor here you can't put it right next to the door it's not going to fit there but if you put it this, uh, as long as it's touching the block that the door is on, it'll power it when you step on it. And when you step on it, the door opens 
and it stays open as long as you're on the pressure plate. It'll close when you when you get off the pressure plate. So you just walk right toward the door, and it opens. And when you walk off, it closes. Yay! Now, if you put the pressure plate on this side, obviously that's going to be that's going to cause a problem because there are shady little characters here. Our dodgy Squidwards will be able to go. Oh, 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 oh and they're going to come in here and steal our stuff. Well, no, not really, but. Um, so we're going to just use the button on the outside. And the pressure plate on the inside. Now the uh, the one thing about this pressure plate here, and let's grab some more stone. Get that out of there. Let me show you what happens with this pressure plate. Because it's a wooden pressure plate, it can be activated with just about anything. It gets thrown on it, dropped on it. Bone, torch, even light little buttons. So um, that doesn't really make any difference inside the house, I suppose. But let me show you the difference just for comparison purposes. The stone, we can throw a bone on the stone and no go. So you really have to put a little weight on it. Now, uh, pressure plates actually do not work. Mobs don't kick off pressure plates. So I, I would imagine that the testificates, these squidwards, wouldn't be able to activate that anyway because uh, animals don't. Uh, but apparently the code, um, that may change. So we're going to assume that that's going to change eventually because apparently there's some code for it somewhere. It's just not active. All right, so that's that. Cool. And I have a sign. Let's, let's make sure these dodgy little characters know that I live here and I don't want them anywhere near it. So we're going to put the, the sign here and just right click. You want to point to the block. You want to place a sign on. And I'm going to say, keep out. Now you just type in, and there's only, I'm not sure exactly how many spaces, but um, you hit enter to go down a space. So there's one, two, three, four lines total. And you use the arrow keys to go up and down. Keep out. Or else. Oops. Yeah, that'll, that'll certainly, I'll make you into bacon. Well then, <laughs> they're just they're just waiting for me to leave. Like, when's he gonna leave? <laughs> All right, let's let's do that. Let's get out of here. We are going to need a new boat, and I'm going to show you a ravine. And let's see. I think we have enough. Yeah, we're gonna come back here anyway. I just want to go show you this uh, this ravine quickly, and let's go over here to the water. Actually, I think I'm going to grab some of this coal first. Yeah, I know. I know your plan. SpongeBob. <laughs> SpongeBob's leaving. Let's get ready, guys. They yeah, might. Um, <laughs> SpongeBob. I'm not a big fan of SpongeBob. I don't really watch it that much, but my son does. My youngest son is a big fan. So I think we've seen just about all the SpongeBob episodes here at one time or another. And I just happened to hear it all the time. Spongebob! Alright. Um, hey, Spongebob! That's my Patrick. I do a mean Spongebob, too. I just... Hmm, I have to think about that. How do you do Spongebob? Oh, hey, Patrick! Hey, Patrick! <laughs> Sorry. Get a little sidetracked. Oh, what fun it is. Alright, now let's head over here to uh, the water. How are we doing for time? Oh dear. All right, I want to get to this ravine. I don't think it's going to happen in this episode. So, well, what else can we do in the time that we have? Um, we did buttons. Let's go. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. It's kind of a long way. So if you want to do this, um, you want to go kind of an easterly direction. And that's where the sun rises. But I'm going to go around through the water. And I'll show you how to get there. Um, I, I wanted to discuss the maps, actually, because today is January 13th. Friday the 13th, eek. And yesterday, the patch, the 1.1, Minecraft 1.1 update was released. And there's new map generation code. And that has, uh, it's going to have a little bit of an impact on this tutorial series. If you're following along with my map, okay, we're going to turn left here down this channel. 
um, because some things are going to be different. This map was generated with 1.00, and the seed that I had uh, shared with everybody in version uh, in, in episode 00 is this seed here, and it's going to be a little bit different if you generate the world now in 1.1. Just a, a little warning there. Right, we need to go toward the mountains. Where's the mountains? Uh-oh, 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 is this a dead end? I think there's a mountain over here somewhere. Greetings, ladies! Whoa! Okay, and just follow along the river. Oh dear, it's getting dark. Oh dear. Okay, come on, Ravine. It's right over here, I think, I think, I think. Oh my gosh. <laughs> not like traveling down a river in the dark. It's not my first time, actually. Don't try this at home, kids. I am a professional. Okay, so it's, yeah, it's over here somewhere. Um, I may have taken the wrong turn at Albuquerque. There it is. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. This, this is it. That's the mountain I was looking for. This is not the mountain you're looking for. And it's right here, and this is the patch of sand. All right, out, out, out of the boat. We're going to need a bigger boat. Out of the boat. Oh, stay boat. Oh, bad boat. And there it is. Check it out. That my friends, is a ravine. And that right there is an easy way down. Wow, that's cool. So now, uh, getting back to the map generation thing, your map might be a little bit different. So if you download this map, you may want to download and follow along with... Um, right, right now, I'm using 1.1. So this code, this map is generated with 1.1. But back at um, Cozy Cottage, if you started... Um, with 1.1 1 .1 in, in episode 1, your map is going to be a little different. Anyway, let's talk about this ravine. As you can see, it's just a big old slice in the, in the earth. And this is a feature that was added in fairly recently. And you can see a little wood down there. There's an abandoned mine shaft, and it's probably riddled with uh, these tunnels. And it's basically a mine shaft. And inside that mine shaft, we will find rail. A lot of wood, even some torches. And we're going to go down there, and we're going to check that out. But as you can see, you can see ore right there in the uh, side and the bottom, which is great. So once the deeper you go, the better ores you find. And we're going to go down there and look for, oh, there's some iron. We're going to look for lapis. Oh, gosh, I don't want to get shot and fall in. Lapis and gold and other gems. It might even be some diamond if we get far enough down there. Uh, to the lowest and deepest levels. Ah, oh, chickens. You're frightening me. Stop it. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, oh. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> you deserve it, you spy. It's a spy, anyway. It's all right. He'll make it. He'll, he'll land on the wood. He probably didn't land on the wood. So, um, what I need to do is find a way down. A safe way down, and I can show you how to do that with the water. Basically, just follow the flow. Hop right in that little bit of water there and go down. Now, the heart, that's the easy part. Getting to the land of the dead isn't the problem. It's getting back. <laughs> so says uh, Hector Barboza. And uh, that is the truth. Once we go down there, it's going to be a chore getting back up. So I think I'm going to end the video right here. And then next episode, um, I might have to get prepared before we head down there and grab a few things. And then we'll go down there and check out the ravine features. But that's it. That's the ravine. Pretty cool stuff. All right. So we'll see you next time. I hope you guys and gals enjoyed. And uh, um, we'll pick up where we left off. And hopefully your map generates the same ravine as this one. And if it's not exact, it's going to be very, very close in most cases. So uh, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Um, Take care. Oh, hello, I'm back. I'd forgotten to mention the map, the second map that we had made. So we crafted this one originally back home, and this one we crafted um, over by the village. And I had made a mistake. I had mentioned that um, wherever, you, wherever you look at the map is the center point. That's not 
accurate. The uh, the center point is actually where you craft the map. And there were a few comments about that in the in the channel, uh, on the YouTube comments. So I appreciate you guys straightening me out on that. So as you can see, the center is right here. That's where I crafted the map. That's where the cross here is. And I'm going to have to fill in all that center in the middle there. So I'm going to take the boat and, um, and update that map. So I'm obviously all the way to the edge again. And that center uh, piece is very close to the village. So um, that's pretty much that. Maybe what I'll do right now is I'll build another boat, go back and fill in that map. And then I'll come back here and be prepared for our journey down into the ravine. Although, you know what? There is another ravine, an underground ravine with a mine shaft, and it's directly beneath the village. Yes, indeed, we do. I found it. So that might be the safer one. <laughs> that might be the safer bet. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how. Uh, we'll see what kind of mood I'm in. Um, but this is a really unsafe spot. So I think I'm gonna go now. <laughs> All right. This time for real. Bye bye. See you next time.